We are all Shop Bell Day, four week anniversary of Shop Bell Verdict. In schools everywhere, take it to the streets. Thursday, May 22nd, 4 p.m. Assemble, Rufus King Park, Jamaica, Queens, 153rd Street and Jamaica Avenue. We are all Sean Bell. We are all Sean Bell, out with friends the night before your wedding, suddenly set upon by armed men who fire 50 shots at you as you sit in your car, unarmed, frantically, frantically trying to get out of this sudden death hell, still handcuffed to the hospital gurney as your parents come to identify your lifeless form six hours after you were killed. Your uniform killers acquitted because they say they thought you had a gun. We are all Sean Bell, living in a system that treats every young black man as a potential criminal, as fair game for murder. We are all Sean Bell, we who get harassed and sweated for walking down the street with a backpack or even nothing at all, 50,000 times a month in New York City this year so far. We who must assume the position or kiss the pavement, making sure our eyes are looking down, saying yes sir, and sometimes even then murder for a cell phone a candy bar, a turn of the head, or just getting into a car at four in the morning on a street in Queens. We are all Sean Bell, living in a system where you get harassed, imprisoned, and murdered for being the wrong color, or speaking the wrong language, or coming from the wrong country. We are all Sean Bell. We're the black and Latino male youth in New York City hold back from protesting because nearly all of them have arrest records for bullshit in this country, in this free country, in this greatest country of the world, where one in nine young black men is in prison, where ICE carries out Gestapo-style raids and detention on people whose crime is being driven here in a desperate search for work where torture is now legal. Yes, we are all Sean Bell, living in a system where fancy talk of freedom hides a brutal reality of repression. We are all Sean Bell. We have inherited the legacy of the slave ship and the lynching tree, translated today into the constant shadow of the 50 shots at some friends in a car, the 41 shots in a doorway, the plunger in the station house bathroom, the deadly chokehold for tossing a football in the street, the 13-year-old dead for playing with a toy gun. We are all Sean Bell, living in that system where the more they tell us things have changed, the more they've stayed the same or gotten worse. We are all Sean Bell, going to high school where, the, where they numb our minds and treat us like prisoners, and where the military recruits prowl the grounds trying to sign us up to kill other people in other countries, other people held down by the same damn system that holds us down. We are all Sean Bell, told to choose between the thug life or looking for work in the world of dead-end jobs, or no job at all, sent to church where we learn to blame other we, we learn to blame ourselves for the situation that millions of us have been put in. Put in by that system where choice and personal responsibility means learning to bow down and live with whatever hell this system chooses to dish out. We are all Sean Bell. We're those who see that wrong and try to change them as teachers, as doctors, as artists, as lawyers, or just everyday people who don't want to turn their heads in the face of injustice. Find ourselves thwart at every turn where we who want to give cannot give and we who want to live cannot live like humans. Living in a system where we can only wish we know how it would feel to be free. We are all Sean Bell, all needing to get out of this system in all its ways, all needing badly to get into revolution. Is this a society and a system that is fit for human beings? Nobody should want to live in a society where this verdict is acceptable. It cannot be allowed to go down without way more powerful mass resistance coming from all sections of society 
from people from all walks of life. Some now suggest that we wait and see whether the Justice Department files civil rights charges against the police. Many people already waited for the trial for over a year, thinking that this time, with 50 shots, when the young man killed was going to be married and there was no gun, maybe this time there would be some scrap of justice from the judge. But waiting and seeing did not and will not bring justice. And waiting on the Federal Justice Department will only lead away from what is needed to draw a line for this to stop now. This is the Justice Department that writes legal opinions justifying torture done in our name. This is the Justice Department that declared that everything was regular when they reviewed the case of the Gina Six, young people arrested for protesting a noose hung in front of their school. This is the Justice Department that collaborated with KKK informers in suppressing the civil rights movement and murdering civil rights activists in the South in the 1960s. This Justice Department is entirely entwined in and part of enforcing the oppression and exploitation at the heart of this system. Others wonder where the protests will do any good. After seeing so many of our young people shot down over and over, year after year, but the one reason the cops who killed Sean Bell were charged and brought to trial in the first place is not because the cr criminal system suddenly began to listen to reason, but because the outrage of thousands poured into the streets in the days and the weeks that after Sean was murdered. All this must, all this must stop. A line must be drawn right here, right now. The verdict is in. The Sean Bell case cannot be considered acceptable by anyone. And it cannot be allowed to, be, to go down without being met with a powerful mass resistance. Already hundreds have been arrested in civil disobedience, determined that business as usual should not continue. And hundreds of black youth have repeatedly taken to the streets in Queens in militant protests. Much more of this is needed, and many more people of all ages, backgrounds, race, and nationalities must join the youth. It matters what we do in the face of this outrage. Power, powerful resistance can change the equation in a society where, no, where, too many, where too many accept the unacceptable. It can give heart to those put under a constant death sentence by this verdict, and it can call forth many more people to join in taking this on. It's way past time for the line to be drawn. This must stop. We are all Sean Bell. The whole damn system is guilty. We're all shot bell. The whole death system is guilty. Day. Make this the topic for the day. In schools, in the streets, at work, Thursday, May 22nd. Come out to Queens this Thursday at Rufus King Park, Manhattan next The t-shirt money?